All right, I am here with Armani White, rising rapper. How are you today? I am White Armani. I'm doing good. <laughs> um, no, nah, I'm chilling. I'm uh, I'm having fun. I'm uh, enjoying it. This is like my first time in D.C. That's like actually really fun. So like, I don't know. Like I'm just enjoying the bask in the moment kind of thing. You know. So have you done anything D.C.-ish so far? Nah, we had a bunch of plans to like. We had crazy. We put to go to Bus Boys and Poets, and it's like a virtual reality um, uh, arcade that we were supposed to go to. We ended up getting here later than I thought we were, so it was just kind of like juggling everything, like trying to figure that out. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> like next time I come, I do something funner. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is kind of like your first tour. So tell us about the planning stages and what made you want to just go ahead and set out on your own tour right here and right now. Um, I mean, this is like, I don't know, it was just kind of like, we, we were doing it, like, we've been, we, we've hit these, like, these respective cities, like, a, a bunch of times, but this is, like, the first time, um, you know, just to kind of test it out, see how, uh, I guess, how well we could sell these markets, um, before we embark on, like, nationwide tours, we want to see, like, how well we can do it just in our own backyard kind of thing, so that's what it was for, you know, we played D.C. before a couple of times, we played, obviously, like, the hometown Philly, and we played New York a bunch of times this year alone, so, like, just to see, like, you know, how many fans we really got, you know, from all those shows, the strings of shows. Mm -hmm. Now, I kind of know Armani already. We went to college together. We had a speech did class graduate? together. I did graduate. Did you graduate? Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you, if I'm asking you if you graduated, that might be another of answer right there. All right, so just tell us, um, so what was the process? You were at school at Delaware State University. That's where we went to school together. And now, and now, <laughs> And now you got Billboard writing articles about you. So yeah. what was that transition like for you? Um, I mean, it was really just like being able to focus on what I wanted to focus. Like, you know, understanding what was important to me. Not to say that school isn't important, but just like me in perspective. Like, even when I was in Delaware, uh, at Delaware State, I was... um traveling doing shows and like you know and uh having like just different articles written about me different opportunities coming up so like you know once i was able to like kind of pull back from that um and go full force into it it was just like an all or nothing thing like you know who knows what might happen but thankfully it turned out in my favor now billboard right articles about the kids right. and child, it's going on <laughs> Now, not only is Billboard writing articles, but you were actually in the BT Hip Hop Awards Cypher this year. So, what How? Did, what was that call? You remember the call that you guys saying, hey, we want you to be in the Cypher? Yeah, it was a busy week. I had, uh, I had, because um, I had Made in America uh, that weekend, and then the next day, uh, I had, like, maybe a few hours to relax, and then um, I had to go pick my best friend up from jail. He was in jail for a while, and uh, I had to pick him up. And right after I got back from picking him up, I had to fly out on a red eye and be in California from the, in the morning for the BET Awards. And man, I was racing across the globe. So like the call was exciting, but I was just like, man, I gotta do more stuff this weekend. Oh my God, like, you know what I'm saying? But but yeah, it all worked out for the better. Like, you know what I mean? It was a great opportunity, great experience. Um, everybody over there, like, you know, awesome people, everybody uh, uh, from the, from the, the agencies that put it together to, you know, the people actually at BET, et cetera, like, you know, even the talent who I, I was able to stand alongside with from my cypher to other cyphers is just like, it's a great experience, you know, front to back. <laughs> yeah, so in the cypher, you know, you gotta come with your heaviest verses. So what was the preparation process for you? Um, From my favorite cyphers, my favorite BET cyphers are like, a lot of them just pull from current events, like, you know, things going on in the world and like, to create like a pun or metaphor on like, you know, something current. It's just like, it's always like a wild wow factor in there. So it was like, you know, it was a lot of uh, me writing down a bunch of things that I really liked and then kind of digging away from them and putting things back in it that like really just gave that like wow factor that somebody would be like, listen to it and be like, oh, okay, that was clever. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, being writing clever lines is always like the, the skill tactic or my idea once, you know, when going into music. Yeah, so right now there's a trend of artists doing their own thing and they're just putting records out on their own without being signed. So you're unsigned right now, but do you have any interest in being signed by label one day? Um, 
I mean, I'm, you know, I flip a coin on it every so once in a while. It depends on what day you ask me that. Uh, <laughs> today, I, yeah, I'm flipping a coin right now. I'm just like, I'm enjoying the moment. Um, and, uh, you know, I can't tell you what tomorrow might feel like. I've had m many meetings with many great labels, uh, you know, many great people at great labels. But, um, you know, like, I, I, I love... I love seeing what my talents are, where my, you know, where my powers lie, um, and uh, you know, and I, I have a lot of faith in myself and the team I built around me. Whether whether it is or isn't like you know a label situation, um, full out, but um, you know, like like you know, there's no there's no disrespect or any shade towards anybody, but you know. Uh, I, I support everyone who's on labels. Like I have a lot of friends on labels. I support everyone who's doing it independent. I have a lot of friends independent, you know. And I think every, as long as somebody's thriving, doing what they love, and finding a way to, you know, live off music, be successful, and be happy, then, you know, it doesn't really matter the way you got there as long as you got there. You know. Now, one of your songs, "Wonderful." Baby. Yes. <laughs> so you had writer's block, and then your niece, I believe, she got you out of that. Baby cheese. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she came in my room with like a toy. It was a little broken toy. She reckless. So she like popped heads off of toys, and I was pushing it back on, and I'm um, trying to like I was juggling with the words like "they're my type of day," "eh," hey, "they're my type of day," and like. Once I popped it on, I give it to her, I'm still doing that. And then she runs out, like, my type of day, my type of day, eh, eh. And then she's, like, fading in the background, like, eh. I said, cheese, get back here, get back here. <laughs> so she comes back in and she does it. I record it on my phone. And then after that, we just started building a song and building a song and building a song up around it. Um, yeah, she saved my life. <laughs> That's my baby. All right, so that's a lot of girls in your comments. So... I know everybody watching this wants to know, are you single? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I mean, right now I'm single. Um, I'm not I'm not looking, but I'm definitely, I'm single. Um, you know, uh, uh, and thank you to all the lovely ladies that's in my comments. I do appreciate you. I do love you all very dearly. And, you know, uh, and my own, with my own genuine peace of heart to each and every one of you, but I am single. Uh, <laughs> my mom had brought that up, man. My mom was like, she, you know, my mom just got on Instagram. I had to get her on Instagram, and she'd be like, Ooh, who are these girls talking about this and that, calling you a fruit snack? And all that. I said, look, Ma, you got to scroll down. There's more pictures for you to be paying attention to. <laughs> you know, we got to sell these tickets. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. So if you were looking for a girl, what would she be like? What's, what's some of the characteristics that you would want in a woman? Um, funny, uh, like her right there. Not playing. <laughs> uh, funny, um, beautiful, obviously. But uh, I mean, beautiful beauty comes in various forms, and um, um, you know, like I love, I love my sisters. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, <laughs> like. But I, I think, you know, for me, I think I look for like that inner child and some inside of somebody you know outside of any like physical characteristics like having that inner child and having someone that you could just laugh with about nothing for hours and hours and hours on end is like someone who i ideally look forward to uh, uh connecting with and, and you know starting and ending my life with kind of thing but you know right now i'm just like i mean it's camaraderie like you know i might i might have found a girl in my life already and just don't know it, you know what I mean? But like, as, as of right now, I'm just, you know, I know how, I know how dedicated I am to creating what I want to create and making the music I want to make and like, you know, everything. So, I, I just look for friends, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm looking for a, more of a friend right now than anything, but, you know, it'll come. <laughs> All right, so final question. How would you describe your sound? Because you don't sound like the Migos. You don't sound like Travis Scott. You know, you're really you, and I I really like that. So how would you describe your sound? Thank you. I, I just came in. We was talking about it the other day, me and Ja, uh, my DJ. And I was like, you know what? I make happy hood music. <laughs> I said, it's still, like, it's still hard. It got the 808s ways to kick and dump. But, like, it's happy, super happy. But I still, like, I'm from the hood. I still talk about, like, very hood things sometimes that we can relate. We all can relate to or whatever. Um, but it's happy music. So it's happy hood music. Hopefully I can, I can trademark that genre. You know what I'm saying? We can get a Grammy thing going for the next 20 years. But right now we just doing the building blocks for it. But, yeah, it's happy hood music. <laughs> all right, there you have it, happy hood. This is Armani White. You can follow him at... 
Armani Blanco on Instagram, Armani Legendary on Twitter, and you can find, you could Google it for anything else. I'm probably pretty sure it's something I'm missing. <laughs> it's too many social medias out there. All right, there you have it, Armani White. Thank you.